Listen, if it's one thing that I'm pretty sure we're all aware of is that life is out here moving fast, okay? It's a lot going on. We got society telling us what we should be doing, should be, all while we're still trying to figure ourselves out. But you know what we can do? We can be mindful of where we are in this present moment and take small steps towards becoming better by the day and towards reaching our God-given purpose. So let's figure it out and work through it together. Welcome to Mindful Moments, y'all. A space where we talk it out, laugh it out, cry it out, hash it out. Listen, just get it, get it all out, okay? This is a safe space for you. Where we talk about the ups, the downs, even the in-betweens. A place where we go through it so we can grow through it. Tune in every week as we fill our minds with who we're destined to be with positivity, with awareness, and honestly, just with love so i encourage you let's be mindful of today in hopes for yes a better you but also in hopes for a better tomorrow again welcome to mindful moments welcome back to another episode of mindful moments i am your host jada low and your host today is Scared out of her drawers. <laughs> I am in the hot seat, and um, Devin, De- aka Derico, is about to ask me some some questions. You know, we do this. This is a theme that we like to do. Um, it's it's resonated well. It's gone over well. Uh, but you know, Devin asks good questions, so we're gonna see what he has today. Okay, so. Number one, define love. Too much? Too soon? That is too soon. I'll try my best. Okay. It's your definition. Um, I mean, I don't need a clinical definition. Love is consideration. Love is thoughtfulness. And consideration. Why is consideration such a sticking point in that that word? Because I feel like when you love somebody, consideration requires some type of action to be taken. And for me to think of you before I think of myself or to think of how what I do affects you and to take that into account. It's a it's a lot it's a lot of things, um, but that's the word that's sticking out to me the most. Consideration. Okay, so with consideration, Kelly, <laughs> what are the parts of your life that you love that you love the least? Mm-hmm. Like the things that you do that you like. I just don't like that about me. Probably how I'm so quick to isolate myself. Mm. Um, Wait, before you go on, uh-huh. what is the what does the isolation do for you? To me, it registers as I can only count on myself. So I know if I'm by myself with the person that I know I can count on, then I don't have to worry about being let down by anybody. Because I, I know I can count on me. It's me. So what happens, because I know I disappoint myself a lot, mm-hmm. what happens when you disappoint yourself? In a weird way, or two things, um, I'll, I'll say this too. Being in isol- isolation in the sense of I know it's just me, but I also know it's me and God. So when the disappointment factor comes in, I know I've got him. But in the sense of just me, ironically, it's easier for it's easier for me to take disappointment from myself than it is for me to take disappointment from other people. Cause I feel like I can, and part of it may be because I know me and not that I can predict me, but knowing that I know myself, it's easier for me to bounce back from disappointing myself than it is from other people disappointing me because I still feel like people are unpredictable. So have you ever considered that you have a part in letting people disappoint you? Yes. I talked about that in therapy. 
<laughs> I forgot the question that she, what did she ask? Oh, it was such a good question. It was like, why, why is it easier for you to, hold on, I got to find it. But that, that explains a lot. I hope I kept it. But it was, it was such a good question. Yeah, it was, I forgot it. But it was, it was along the lines of why is it easier or why is it hard to accept things? I forgot. I don't even want to misquote it. I don't want to misquote it. But yeah, it's, it's easier for me to, it's easier for me to rely on myself. But you know your limitations. Yeah. So how do you get over not being able to trust people when you have limitations? Ask that again. Give me like a little more context so I can make sure I'm answering so, right. Okay. So I I'll I'll use you or the high. Mm -hmm. Um I didn't I didn't come through on something that you needed. So mm, we we filming mm -hmm. and I was supposed to bring out the equipment. But I forgot a mic. Mm -hmm. How do you? I know that's simple. That's that's, that's a good example. The good, yeah. So how do you still going forward? Still trust that I can provide what you need because you know your limitation is on your side, but you know I can fulfill those mm -hmm. limitations. But see, that's that's a little. I feel like that's a little different because you've shown me that you can pull through. So, like, I count it as, like, a, it's just, like, a human error. Like, it happens, you know. Um, when it comes to other instances, if I were to just be meeting somebody new or just, like, other relationships in general, I'm not sure if I can say that wholeheartedly. All right. So, in that, do you forgive? Mm hmm Do you reconcile? It depends. See, those two, those two words go hand in hand. You. But would you say forgiveness always requires reconciliation, though? Or, like, internal reconciliation or reconciliation with the, with the person? Because I can forgive and reconcile, but I also feel like if there's no need for me to— well, I guess in the context of what we're talking about, yes, forgive and reconcile. But I don't always see um, reconciliation— as a product of forgiveness. Okay. I can forgive but not talk to you again. <laughs> but like if it's like if it's like what you described with us, yeah, I can forgive and like we can talk about it and it's that case by case. So with that being said, how would you um uh, guide someone into getting if that's something that they really wanted to get over their trust issue. I found it. But um you you got your question? You remember? Yes. She asked me, do you empathize with people when it comes to something they do to you? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know how to answer it. <laughs> I did not know how to answer. I forgot how we got on the subject. Oh, because um, we had realized that I can empathize with people when they do something to somebody else or when I see like they're in a situation where they did something that probably wasn't in their best interest. Like I can empathize with that. But when it comes to like if that same person were to do something to me, would I be able to empathize with them? I said, I don't know. I don't know if I have that in me. Yeah, and I I feel like I can, but it was that was a question that was hard for me to to answer because it's a little harder for me to understand that. And I'm not like I'm no saint, but I sometimes I feel like I try to move with the best intention that I can. So it's like when somebody does do something that may offend me or something um, wrong to me or even something that hurt me. I'm more so trying to understand, like, why would you do that? I haven't, I haven't given you a reason to. Not that, I, not that I was perfect, or not that I am perfect, but it's like it's it's harder for me to understand because I try to put my best foot forward 
in that way. Mm. So empathizing with that is a little bit harder. Yeah. I get that. Yeah. I can see that. So what would you say to a person who is genuinely trying to get over their trust issues but has similar feelings that you have? Mm, so basically what would I say to myself? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Pretty much. Mm -hmm. Know that trusting yourself can only go so far. Uh, because while I do, and I, I even to an extent feel like I'm in a, I was just chatting with the big G-O-D about this. Um, I do feel like I'm in a season of isolation, but I also know I'm a very, like, I'm a social person. Like, I'm an introvert, but I, I'm a, like, I'll talk to, I'll talk to a brick wall. Um, but I will, like, have a whole conversation with a, with a brick or two. Um, but knowing that trusting yourself and saying I can only depend on me only gets you so far because there's going to come a point where you're just not going to know. You're just not going to know. You're going to need somebody else, somebody else's insight um, to help with that. Um, yeah, self-sufficiency can only get you so far. Um, but also trusting that, knowing that there are people who you will be able to depend on because that's the main reason why trust issues come into play and and there'll be people worth fighting for where when the trust is broken the the relationship supersedes that to where you're willing to fight through it mm, i agree yeah i agree with that so personal has your trust issues hindered the cold dice <laughs> have your trust in issues hindered you from getting to um, places that you want to be in your life. Yes. Um, uh, I would say a little bit work-wise, but more so relationally. Like, I'm in a space where friendships, r romantically, a little bit, but more so friendships, I'm just having a hard time, like, wrapping around my head, wrapping my head around trusting people. So... And like, because I'm trying to wrap my head around it in a in a way of like friendships, um, in a way with like friendships relationally, because that sometimes is deeper um, or just as deep. That is a, another can of worms. It sound like we need to do it. Say it. I don't trust these. Yes. Like, I'm really struggling with that. Like, I don't know. It's just, it's still, like, tender on my heart. And I want to, like, be able to, I want to be, I don't want to, I don't see the worst in people, but I want to be able to see the trust in people. That's what I need help with. But don't get me wrong. Some people, you could just look at them and be like, hey, they might not be the, be the uh, <laughs> brightest apple in the bunch. You may, may not want to. You want to trust their trust in people. Yeah. That's a word or somebody. Yeah. It's, it's hard. Because how often do you see the trust in people? Or how often are you looking for those specific qualities? Yeah. Especially when you consider yourself to have them. And not that I look for people to have it on to the same degree that I have it, but to just to be a breath of fresh air and letting me know, like, People can be trusted because I know they can, but like, darn it, itch again. <laughs> Get it out. Get it out. It's just, it's, it's weird. Trust is very weird. Like, even like trusting God and trusting that he'll send those people, great. But when it comes to like actually doing that with people, it's like, eh, makes me shaking my boots. Little stake in my boots. <laughs> Little stake in my boots. <laughs> it's so weird. It, but what do you do? Especially in your 20s. Right. So what do you do when God sends you someone who you thought was untrustworthy, but they're trustworthy for you? Like they're specifically for you for a reason. Mm -hmm. I honestly don't know how to answer that. No, that's Thumper. Because... Yeah, I, I don't know how to answer that. Because I'm a firm believer that there are people 
around you that are different for other people but are for what you need them for yeah yeah i believe that too it's um it's just yeah because like i'm 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 literally waiting for the day where somebody else's dependability will like slap me across the head because it's like wow these type of people exist um the reciprocity exists the mutual feelings exist and that's just like friendship wise, like that exists. Like I can, like I can trust you because like there are people in my life that I trust. Don't get me wrong, but there's always something in the back of my head that's like, how long will this last? That's why you treat me like that. No, <laughs> I just, I just haven't like. But to your point, I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to learn that with you. Mm. Like I trust you, like I know I can depend on you, but it's still it's still like very very hard because I've moved like while I've had people in my life, I've always moved like something is gonna a, a hiccup is gonna come, and I don't know if I don't know how durable we are mm. to where if when it comes, if that's gonna if it's gonna dis- destruct or durability and friendship, yeah. But like that's that's what I want. Like I don't want anything that's like where we hit something and it goes to like smithereens. I want it to be able to last. But granted, you know there are some things where it's just gotta go to where it's gotta go. <laughs> but yeah, I just wonder like. Who's durable? Who's durable and dependable? That's what I need. And you need a Duracell battery. <laughs> you need a Duracell battery? That's golden. That's golden. You need a Duracell battery? Double A. So you need a good. I need I I was finna say something, but I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> you know what I'm finna say. <laughs> You know, I was going to say the type, type of battery. Ooh. It was a letter. <laughs> we said I need a Duracell battery. No, I mean, if, if people could be Duracell batteries, you know. Last thing in Duracell. Take them anywhere. Ooh. Yeah. But yeah, trust is. Ha. Ah. Love and trust are are two things in my life right now that are hard for me to define. They're one and the same. You can't have. Yeah. Like and and more so like relationally, romantically, love right now is very like I know I know what I want and I'm knowing I'm getting to know what I need. But um like verbalizing it. Is, is where my trouble comes. Not trouble, but like what I'm trying to wrap my head around, articulating it. There you go. And, and knowing like what it looks like. That's all I got. Yeah. We're going we're gonna to end it on that, y'all. Get you some people in your life that are like Duracell batteries. Long-lasting, dependable, durable, power on and off. <laughs> I'm done. But yeah, if um I'm gonna I did a a poll for some of the topics that people wanted me to talk about and one of the um my sister cousin, her sister, um, she wanted me to talk about navigating and like getting what, Jada? Friendships in your twenties. And I feel like that's something I could talk about. But I'm like, girl, I'm still figuring it out myself. Not that I'm out of my twenty. It is. So the friends I met in college are still my friends, mm-hmm. but they're not the friends that I had in college. Say that again. The friends that I had in college mm-hmm. are still my friends. Oh, in the sense of growing. Okay, got you. They, yeah, they're still my friends. That's still the what I call the family. The, mm-hmm. the friends that are family, the family, but. We all grew. Like, we all 
be out how old. Yeah. But I love that. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about that on one because I know I'm not the only one, and I'm t- I'm 25, 25 and a half, look, a little over half, little over half, yeah, 25 and two thirds. Um, we're up there, but yeah, that's that trust thing. Ooh, she'll get you every time. She'll get you. But yeah, if y'all are if y'all need help. Well, not even need help. If y'all feel what I'm feeling, let me know. I told y'all Derrico was going to ask a good question. One that's jarring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, find some people that's like Duracell batteries. She didn't take away nothing from this episode. Get you some Duracell batteries in your life. Jada's a little off, y'all. Bless her heart. <laughs> well, yeah, it's, it's been a long day. See through this. But that's neither here nor there. Um, thank you again. I appreciate you. Always. For sure. And I love you guys, and I will see you all in the next episode. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Mindful Moments. I want y'all to remember this. Take it one step at a time. Know that you're capable. Know that you're worth it. Be intentional and know that everything you need to accomplish the things you want is already inside of you. But look, y'all, the podcast doesn't end here, okay? Be sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at O underscore Jada. That's O with three H's underscore J-A-D-A. You can see the visuals from past episodes and segments and maybe even some teasers for upcoming episodes. And be sure to follow and like Mindful Moments on Apple Podcasts, Spotify Podcasts, and even Google Podcasts. And as you go through your day, remember to be mindful of today in hopes for a better tomorrow. I'll see you in the next episode.